120,000. Uh, the, the list of items, and this was quite a long list. And the goal was um, to summarize it to the district, so that we probably can um, to attribute um, to the district finder. So if you want to know if it's a green area or not. And so we checked the list and found out there's about 2,000 locations which they have. Um, in this um, list. And then it was a problem to find the GPS coordinates to find out in which district it is. And after we have the um, GPS coordinates, we use um, Ben's algorithm again to find out which um, district it is. And it was so interesting. And here's the result, which is probably most recent. Oppenheim, close to West and Süd. It was. To the data quality, it's well, it's written by hand somehow. In where are the trees? And trees have no always just the to, um, to streets, so it's sometimes a bit hard to, to resolve from the address with saying left to a certain street between two other streets and to find a GPS address. So it's not 100% complete. And during this project, I found out there's another project which is called uh, Geolocator or something like this. They already done the work, it was a little bit too late, but um, you can find on this map in Geoport and Frankfurt um, every tree on this list where it is located. But it's quite sad that they don't provide the data of the GPS coordinates from for all the trees, it would be much easier, or at least I don't find it on the website. This is, if it's also an open data project or something like this, this is one point probably you can improve if you do your projects provide your basis data or even your, you say work with this data quite a lot, I guess, and provide it to other guys as well. It's, you know,